Now we are turning to the results and examples. We begin with aligned loading. We determined that the critical stretch ratio of the gen composite can be estimated by using this equation. In general, it is a polynomial of 7th order and it can be solved numerically. Clearly, when the locking parameter Gm goes to infinity, the equation reduces to the solution for the neo can composite. We present an example for a composite with fiber volume fraction CF 0.5. The dotted magenta curve represents the lockup curve, and the red, the red continuous curve is the failure surface of the composite with shear moduli ratio of the phases k equal 100, and the blue curve corresponds to the contrast k 50. The points were, were obtained from the numerical simulations. The critical stretches of the corresponding composites with Neo-Ukian phases are presented by thin dashed line, lines. We note the good agreement between our analytical estimations and numerical simulations. The failure surfaces obtained by upper estimation and our full analysis coincide and the difference is negligible. In addition, we observe that the difference between the results for neo and Gent composites is significant only in the range of small locking parameters. The difference rapidly decreases with increase of the locking parameter. Next, we provide an example for non-aligned loadings. The example is given for a composite with the same fiber volume fraction CF 0.5 and shear contrast ratio K 100. The red curve corresponds to loading angle theta 0, the blue curve to 1 16th of pi, and the green curve to 1 8th of pi. The corresponding numerical simulations, simulation results are denoted by squares, triangles, and circles. And the critical stretches of the corresponding neo hookian composites are the thin dashed curves. Lines. Again, we note that if a value of the locking parameter is big enough, the onset of failure in gen composites can be sufficiently estimated by the results of neo hookian composites. We demonstrate an, demonstrate an example for the composites with fiber volume fraction CF uh, 0.5 and shear modular ratio K 50, 30 and 10, red, blue and green curves respectively. So that we determined analytically the unstable domain and the general non-aligned deformation. The squares, triangles and circles correspond to the numerical simulation results. Note that above the certain direction of compression load angle theta, the material becomes absolutely stable. The physical meaning of this cr critical or maximal angle theta at which an instability may occur can be interpreted as follows. The fibers rotate during an uh, applied non-aligned loading. At some point, the angle reaches the value of one fourth of pi. Then the compression in the direction of fibers switches to tension. So that if the critical value of the compression in the fiber direction is not reached before, the composite is stable. The maximal angle corresponds uh, to the case when the critical compression in the fiber in the fiber direction is achieved right at the point when the fibers are rotated at the angle of one fourth of pi in the current configuration. Consequently, any compression applied at an angle higher than theta m will never lead to failure. We summarize that for the dependence of the maximum angle of shear moduli ratio k for uh, composites with different fiber volume fractions. The red curve corresponds to fiber volume fraction CF equal to 0 0.5. The domain that lies above the curve is absolutely stable, while the for the region under the curve, lambda appropriate to the onset of ellipticity loss can be found. Obviously, when the shear moduli ratio k goes to infinity, the maximum loading, loading angle theta tends to one fourth of pi. 
the influence of fiber volume fraction is demonstrated by the results for the following values of CF 0.25 the blue curve and 0.1 the green curve. A complementary example is given for composites with fiber volume fraction CF 0.5 and varying shear contrasts K. The red curve corresponds to the loading angle theta equal to 0. The blue curve corresponds to the loading angle equal to 1 16th of pi. The green curve corresponds to the loading angle equal to 1 8th of pi. The continuous curve represents the analytical solution while the squares, triangles and circles describe the numerical simulation results. To summarize, a new upper estimate for microscopic strain energy density function with gen phases was introduced. We determined the onset of failure due to the loss of stability of the fiber composites under aligned and non-aligned loading conditions. We developed the numerical technique to determine the onset of failure. The comparison between our analytical results with the results of our finite element simulations showed a fine agreement. Thank you for your attention.